Brendan Radley Hiles was one of the most highly touted electric and dynamic players coming out of the 2018 class. He garnered a total of 38 offers, was an All-American on the high school level, had offers to even play on either side of the football, was a composite top 50 player, and even held a 5-star ranking on rivals. Despite a smaller build, it seemed like Buki was destined to be the next great player in college football. But would end up going undrafted in the end of his college career and would never make a final NFL roster. What happened to Brendan Buki Radley Hiles? To start this video off, I will be talking about his high school career where he would start to build hype around his name dominating the high school level. Brendan Radley Hiles would start to garner interest and attention from teams across the nation in 2016 before his junior season began at Calabasas, with his first official offer being from Arizona. At Calabasas, he would play on both sides of the ball. He was a dynamic do-it-all defensive back on defense and a dynamic playmaker on offense. It's worth noting that Bookie Radley Hiles has been often seen as arguably the best player or the best player on all of his teams he's played on for football from Pop Warner to the high school level. As a junior at Calabasas, he would establish himself as one of the best DBs in the nation as he made Max Prep's All-American second team as a standout for that Calabasas squad that had a very good year. However, after that season at Calabasas, he would end up traveling across the country and playing for one of the most touted programs in all of high school football, IMG. And in his senior year, the offers kept rolling in. And in this time for playing at IMG, he was a do-it-all player on defense, playing all over the secondary and making plays against some of the best teams and against some of the best competition out there. But when it came time to make a final decision, Brendan Radley Hiles would choose the Oklahoma Sooners over the likes of USC, UCLA, and Florida State. Coming into OU, there were many high expectations of Bookie Radley Hiles, as he was one of the crown jewels of that 2018 Sooners recruiting class. He would impress many going into his freshman campaign as an early enrollee, even receiving preseason buzz nationally going into the season. Bookie would indeed have a big role in his freshman season for the Sooners, as many thought he could and many thought he would. But it didn't exactly go the way that many people were expecting it to go. Buki would in fact play in 13 of the 14 games for the Sooners that season, where he started in 11 of them. However, the season was full of ups and downs for him. Though he was only a freshman and the Sooners defense overall was one of the worst in the nation, even having their DC get fired mid-season and have to have an interim takeover for the rest of the year. Buki would finish the season with 39 total tackles, one tackle for loss, and five pass deflections. Going into his sophomore year, the goal for Buki was to bounce back from his up and down freshman campaign where he got injured and never seemed to really find his groove again after being benched in the last three games of the season. In his sophomore campaign, Buki Radley Hiles would improve his game from the previous year, including a big time performance versus in state rivals Oklahoma State, where he had 10 tackles, one tackle for loss, and an interception. He would still have some ups and downs. It was less in his freshman year, of course, which that does happen to many DBs. You're still going to have your ups and downs, it's just the reality of the position. But he would finish the year with 46 total tackles, 4 tackles for loss, 2 sacks, 1 fumble recovery, and 1 forced fumble. It's also worth mentioning that that Sooners defense in 2019 improved mightily from that 2018 year where they were one of the worst defenses in all of the nation, despite having also a very good record at that and being a playoff team, but let's not get sidetracked. That 2019 defense improved mightily and was respectable at that, especially in the Big 12 Conference. However, unfortunately for that defense and even Buki Radley Hiles at that, that team's most remembered for that 2019 playoff game versus LSU, where they lost 63 to 28. And I would say that this game was a low light in Buki Radley Hiles' career, 
as he's really most remembered in that game for a very dirty targeting play against Clyde Edwards Hilaire on a play where he didn't even need to do it and he had a better opportunity to tackle Joe Burrow. Instead, Joe Burrow broke off a first down and Buki Riley Hiles got ejected in the very first half of the game. For 2020, Buki still had some ups and downs as a Sooner, but he was a leader on the Sooners defense and a big leader in the locker room as well, as he was one of the most touted players by the coaching staff and players on the field and off the field. The Sooners defense that year had a top 30 scoring defense and was one of the best in the Big 12 Conference. He would finish his junior campaign with 30 tackles, 4 tackles for loss, 1 sack, 1 interception, and 5 pass deflections. After that season, Buki would enter the transfer portal where he would then end up at Washington. In his one lone season at Washington, he would have arguably his best season of his college career as he finished with 46 total tackles, 5 tackles for loss, 2 sacks, 1 interception, 1 fumble recovery, and 3 pass deflections. Not to mention, Washington had a top 25 scoring defense, and that was a very bright spot of their team in a year where they had a lot of controversy with coachings, coaches getting fired mid-season, and well also having one of the worst offenses in the nation as well if he if the team was better like washington was when they had kaylin DeBoer, rookie probably would have had more hype surrounding his name going into the 2021 nfl draft now hinting that 2021 draft line he would have the option to return for one more year of eligibility because of the 2020 season but he did declare for the 2021 nfl draft Hiles was projected to be an undrafted free agent, and he would wind up going undrafted, where he would then be picked up by the Cincinnati Bengals. After being picked up as an undrafted free agent by the Bengals, Radley Hiles would make it all the way to the preseason training camp, where he would be released just before the start of the 2022 NFL season. He would not get picked up by another NFL team during the year, whether it would be on a final roster with a 53-man spot or a practice squad opportunity. He would not get another callback, and he would not make another NFL roster, and that would mark the end of his football career. After being out of football for months during the 2022 NFL season, Buki would join the USC coaching staff in 2023 as a defensive graduate assistant where he's been there training with the Nichols cornerbacks and defensive backs overall as a GA since 2023 and is still on staff for the 2024 season. Although the college football career and post-college career may have not gone the way that many would have thought it would have for Buki coming out of high school. There is one thing that needs to be said about him is that he is a great leader on and off the field. And now that he is in the college ranks as a coach at USC, I wouldn't be surprised just based on things you've been hearing about him during the entirety of his career playing football, whether it be as a player or even this short time as a coach, that Buki Radley Hiles could be one of the young risers in the collegiate coaching game or just the coaching world in general. It'll be interesting to see how it pans out for him on the coaching ranks as I think he has a lot of potential to become an extremely good coach and one that is seen as one of the most successful in his position slash and or field depending on which level he wants to prioritize over the other, being a head coach, being a position coach, or anything he attacks in that career. Well guys, if you made this far in the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly out.